Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Mike and Dave Hit the Stage. I'm Mike. I'm Dave. Why is this a very special episode the way you're saying it? I didn't say very special. I no, was it, I said Merry Christmas. I know, but it sounds like you're about to do a very special episode of Mike and Dave. You know what? You know what's funny is you make me start these episodes, right? And I start them the way I start them. And you always say, why does it sound like this? Why does it sound like that? You can start them all, Dave. I don't want to. But at the same time, I don't want to sound like an episode of fucking, uh, or not what's happening. Different strokes where the kid gets molested. <laughs> was that Cousin Oliver? No, it was Dudley. Oh, Dudley. Cousin <laughs> Oliver was different. It was uh, Brady Bunch. Yeah, which was not two seasons. It was, it was five. Three seasons. Was it? It was five seasons. Okay. I had to look it up because I'm like, no way they introduced Cousin Oliver in season three. If it got that bad in three seasons, maybe they did. Oof. Ter- well, it, was, it wasn't a great show, but for what it was, I guess. Right, right. And then half, half of the shows in the 80s were just trying to get that Brady Bunch feel back. You know, the, the, the f- blended family, Happy. you know. Yeah. What was it Step by Step and the Hogan family? And they were all ripoffs of something. or You know, it was either that or Family yeah. Ties. Yeah. Nothing to do break. with Christmas. Nothing to do with this episode. <laughs> so we are remote again, which we will be for quite a while, probably. Yes. Uh, um, we are going to take a few weeks off at the end of the year. That's why we're doing our Christmas episode now. You make it sound uh, like we're recording this in November. It's well, a, it's a week before. Yeah. But then we had to take two weeks off. Yeah. Christmas and New Year's. Right. Make it sound like we're going on fucking sabbatical. We're taking a break. <laughs> He's very defensive. Very defensive. I don't know. I don't know. It's very, the, these, these at home episodes are very weird because I was just sitting, we were watching TV and I looked at Mary Jane and I went, all right, I'm going to go record with Dave now. You know, it's so weird. Like when we used to, when we first started, it was, you know, a week before, we were like, all right, Sunday, I'll pick you up. We'll go to Brooklyn. We'll do this and we'll do that. Now it's just like I'm sitting on my couch. My kid's playing Fortnite. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to go yeah, call Dave. It's time to go. <laughs> but like I'm uh, done with this bullshit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Christmas. This is actually a list I was looking forward to almost since the last Christmas episode. <laughs> really? I love Christmas. Okay. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, in my house, Christmas has always been like the, the cooking holiday, the family wow. holiday. Like we, no matter what, everyone tried to get off. Everyone tried to be around for Christmas one way or another. Right. Mm-hmm. And the interesting thing was when I was a kid, you've seen my, where, where my parents live. Right. Imagine that, that first floor full of about 30 people. Wow. There used to be a Christmas. That's a lot of people for that house. one spot, dude. It was Christmas Eve was at my par- yeah. at my parents and it was yeah. wall to wall people. Yeah. And it definitely would be with with just uh five of us in there sometimes, six of us. It's a lot of people. Oh yeah. And I don't I don't know how they did it and I mean we were like shoulder to shoulder back then. Right. And you're not a small people. Your family. <laughs> did you just call my mom fat? <laughs> Ladies no. and gentlemen. We've gotten to the point where he feels comfortable calling my mom fat. It's happened. <laughs> we got there. It took a little over a year. <laughs> I can't wait to play this for her. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That's half the fun. Listen, listen she uh, she got me with the stroke, so. She did. She really did. I'm I okay. Said, I said we, bo- we, bo- we both checked off. Those boxes were done. That's it. I'm okay. How are you? I went, oh my God. Still the, not the meanest thing she could have done. She yeah. actually once sat. I don't remember how it came up. Me and my friend Chris are sitting there and she's like, Ooh, the Kama Sutra is on ebook. And she went, that'll kill me. That'll kill your father. That'll kill both of us. <laughs> she, I, she went for like 10 pages. Wow. If you're really looking at it or just yeah, no, she around. wasn't joking. <laughs> she, oh, that's the funny thing. For the joke, you go all out. And that's that's something right. I think I learned from my parents. Right, right, right. That's funny. 
So back to Christmas. Sure. Yeah. So Christmas, it was a, it was always a music on in the kitchen, mm -hmm. TV on with music probably on the on in the living room, and everyone just hanging out eating, you know, pork and rice and having a good time. Right. We were never like a Spyro ham family. So, okay. you know, roast pork, you know, benil, and, uh, you know, the, the rice that everyone in my family was like, are they making the rice this year? My mother-in-law today said, I'm going to miss your dad's rice. I go, and when you have mine, you're going to miss it even more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, yeah, our house was always uh, Christmas Eve. It was not, we, most of the time we went out. It wasn't our house. Most of the time we went to a uh, friend's house. They would have a, a, a party in their basement, a few blocks from our house. And uh, Santa would be there, you know. And uh, we'd take pictures with Santa. And we'd, you know, it was the adults having eggnog and us kids just running around like a psychopath. Little retards. Yeah. Are we using that word now? I am. <laughs> little R words? I don't know. Whatever. You're a big R word. Yeah. I I was a I was a psychotic kid. I used to I bounce off the walls. Yeah. I got roller skates was, for Christmas. I was very one year. Dude. I got roller skates one year for Christmas as a kid. Yeah. And I would back and forth from the living room to the kitchen. Didn't know how to stop, so I just hit something to stop. It's the best way to do it. And it explains a lot. <laughs> so let's get to the list. Yes, let's do it. And you started out strong. You like it? I did. I really did. This is Carol of the Bells by August Burns Red. Yes. Now, this is, an, is so, this an entire Christmas album? Yes. They are. Okay. So let me explain August Burns Red. Here we go. They are all Christian, but they do not. And, and, and everybody labels them a Christian band. But they say that just because they're Christian, they make music that um, they want to make enjoyable to people. They're a metalcore band. They're yeah. very heavy. And I'm sure you've seen me wear the, I wear their, their sweatshirt every once in a while. And on the back, it says angry music for happy people. Because honestly, that's always the way I felt is that as much as I've listened to punk and, and heavy metal, I've never been an angry guy. That's kind of the way I get my anger and stuff out is through the music. I definitely agree with that. I play bass to what I, I joke and say, I play bass to keep the voices out. Right. And I've said that so, since I was a teenager. But overall, I'm a happy person. I'm not, you know, you know, like everybody, you know, they say you have to be brought up in like a, you know, a broken home or whatever. But both my parents were married. You know, we had a good, we grew up Wait, in a house. To each other? Yes. Both of your parents were married. You didn't say to yes. who? They married to each other. My parents have been married for, Jesus, probably about 45 years now. No, 48 years. I was going to say, because you're 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 47, so. Oh, that's going to be a conversation years. later in life with Devin. Well, that's on you, brother. Considering I had a, <laughs> I, had, I was carrying him into the, uh, the reception. Yeah. Because <laughs> he didn't want to walk. No. Oops. No, he was two. <laughs> oh, holding his hand. Oops. Um, well, on my shoulder. Two. Hello. Um, we don't do anything in the right order. That's really what yeah, it is. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But uh, yeah, so. Um, for me, one, for so metalcore, it's interesting. Two, for a Christian band, this is also really interesting. You, you know, it's it's traditional Christmas music, but it's not it's not what I'd lump into Christian metal. Right, right. Which is really cool. Well, the whole thing is, do you know why? I, I just learned this this year. Do you know why almost every band puts out a Christmas album? Does it, does it go like frankincense instead of gold? What? It's, it's, no. it's a religious thing. Go ahead. <laughs> no, because all these Christmas songs uh, are not, uh, they weren't copyrighted. Oh, yeah. So, so that's why everybody puts out a, 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 a Christmas album because they, one, they sell, and two, the music you don't have to get the royalties for. That's you can true. just make the album. You can just, you just, release it you don't even really have to i never i never editing. thought of it that way right i never thought of it that way and i learned that this year that that's why everybody from like you know well mariah carey wrote her own but yeah. I, i'm sure she has ones that she covers as well but uh that's why everybody does a christmas album I have because no it's just idea. easy to do 
It's a free album. <laughs> that cost thousands of dollars to make. No, but I mean the music itself. Oh, that's true. You don't. It's yeah. not. You don't have to get anybody's permission. You don't have to get any any. Uh, there's no residuals to anybody else. Right. Unlike, cool. unlike the, I, I think it's Taylor Swift didn't own her. She didn't own her masters, so she re-recorded. Yes, albums that guy, over. Uh, <clears throat> I forget the guy's name. A lot of respect to somebody who's willing to re-record their albums to maintain their ownership, and that was really smart of her. Yeah. Yeah, you know, she well, got the guy screwed, screwed her out of her own songs, and then she yeah. un. The best way to put it, she undid his stupidity and his greed. Right. So now, now he has songs that are worthless because now she owns them again. Yep. And now, and now she's the biggest star in the world. Yeah. I'm not. You know? And I, I say and this that guy looks like a scumbag. I'm not a fan, but I res- I definitely respect that that business decision and the fact that she is. She did that more for not only for herself, but to give access to stuff on her terms, which right. is really fan right. service. And I got to say, I, I, you know, um, my son likes one of her songs and we listened to it on his birthday when we were going out the other day. And uh, it's not bad. And every Taylor Swift song I've heard, I'm neither here nor there. I mean, I, I don't hate it. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't lean the needle either way. It doesn't offend. Right. It doesn't. Yeah. You know, it's, it's no Rebecca Black's Friday. Uh, yeah yeah you know <laughs> oh what was the other song th- the thanksgiving song <laughs> oh i don't know I oh it was no terrible idea. oh it was terrible. i'm sure i've heard it if she had done a christmas song i guarantee she would have been burned at the stake <laughs> <laughs> it was bad enough yeah no the so when looking at christmas stuff i was like i i saw your list i'm like i started metal and i went mm, not all of it though I, I had to like back up a bit I I did what I mean. It, you could see what I did. I did metal covers of well, not even metal. I, I went I went a little uh, ska and all. Oh stuff. yeah, uh, you know, a little new metal on there as well. But unlike last year, where we kind of we kind of went all traditional last year. Oh yeah, uh, but you know, it, I think we needed to start out that way because we needed, you know, uh, Rudy the Red Dick Reindeer. <laughs> And it didn't make it into this list again this year. Sandra D and her fucking pie. Which one is that? Uh, Rocking around the Christmas tree. Jingle Bell Rock, I think it is. She says, I'm going to have some line. fucking pie. Oh, my God. I, know, I don't Actually, think I've ever heard that. It, it says I'm pumpkin sure pie in the notes. Pumpkin pie. But it sounds like yeah. fucking pie. I'm going to have to listen to that after this. Yeah, some fucking pie. Listen to this uh, 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 list, by the way. It was kind of fun because... I've done it a lot because I was I've been home the past. Well, I took a few days off of work because it's Logan's birthday and stuff like that. So I've been home doing like you know I I cook breakfast every morning when I'm home, and uh, I had it on in the background. And it must have <laughs> Mary Jane and my kids. It must have looked like I was getting into the holiday season because all I was listening to was this <laughs> Christmas music while I'm doing it. I'm not that guy. I'm not the cri- listen to Christmas music. You know I am because it's December. I know you're a big. You know. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead. I'm a big fat piece of shit. I hear it. Push over. I yeah. was not gonna say that. I was trying. You know what? I had that in my head. Something along those lines, and I was like, "How do I say this nicely? It's Christmas." <laughs> How do I say it nicely? <laughs> this is Christmas. <laughs> also, not on here is John Lennon's uh, "This Is Christmas." No, I don't like that song. I do, but at the same time, it didn't feel right for this list. Yeah. So let's move on to yours. <laughs> And I've got to say, so this is uh, Get Into the Spirit by Rob Halford. Yes. Um, this is going to be blasphemy on a Christmas episode. I told you. I fucking told you. I like Rob Halford. I did not like this song. I do not it like this song. It almost sounded either. like they put some kind of effect on his voice. Yeah. It sounds not like it. It, nothing about this song is pleasant to the ears. This no. album in general is not good. Okay. This, is, this is the one with all the suggestive Christmas songs. <laughs> oh, come all you right, faithful. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, come Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What child is this? <laughs> come on, Eileen. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would pay money to hear him do a cover of that. <laughs> Seeing Halford do Jolene with Dolly Parton at the yeah. uh, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was amazing. But I'm like, yes. he definitely would not be singing this song. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> It'll be Joel. Joel. <laughs> Jolie. Jolie. He, he lives in Arizona, so it's like, yeah. That's and his, there's a Christmas cactus up right around this time of year. I love following him on is it, is it Facebook, is it Facebook or or Instagram. maybe it's both Facebook and Instagram, whatever it is, with his metal blessings, and he's like the leather straps, and I'm like, Rob, I love you, but <laughs> yeah, it's a lifestyle choice. Yeah, he, yeah, he did invent a style of dress for heavy metal, and yeah, nobody Completely realized incidentally. Yes, got to give respect to that. Oh, absolutely. He's like, I'm going to all... dress like a, like I'm going to a biker club, but not a regular one. You know what kind? And right. everyone's and like, we didn't know what kind until after he said it. Nobody knew what kind until 1998. <laughs> Hilarious, but yeah, um, uh, Metal Edge Magazine, choice. 1998. I mean, was that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> he was being interviewed, and they do the standard, you know, the cheese questions. Like, you know, yeah. who's your favorite, you know, this, who's your favorite? And he goes, the guy asked him if you could uh, sleep with one celebrity, who would it be? And he said, Howie Long. <laughs> Howie Long. That's an interesting answer. Well, it was the 90s. He's a big yeah, football player. Yeah. No, I know that. I'm like, but that was, that's an interesting answer. I guess he has a type. I, don't, I, don't, I guess so. Everybody has a type somewhere. Somewhere in their, in their brain, they have that. Oh, that's what I like. And yes, apparently his course. is. Now we know is Howie Long. <laughs> and if you read his book, he tried to uh, come on to Paul Diano. So Paul Diano is in that wheelhouse, too. Really? Interesting. Yep. But yeah, this song sucks a bag of rocks. Right. And because it's, 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 and cause it's, it's Halford, not, I said well, it's an original. It's an original Christ, Christmas song. It's, it's as original as it gets and not in a good way. Yeah, no, it's not one that sticks... It's not. Okay. It's not a. It's not a Mariah Carey. It's not. Uh, it's. It's no. All I want for Christmas is you. We will get to it. We will get to it. Oh, that's. Yes, we it's, will. It's on the. It's on the list. It's, Spoilers. It's, it's on the list. <laughs> but this, like, I was so excited when I saw that he was putting out like a Christmas album. Yeah. And then I heard it. I'm like, everything. Everything is bad. Well, you know what's funny about this is that. Uh, uh, um. I had remember I told you how bad the bad religion one was. Yes. At one point on this list, I had uh, one of the bad religion ones on here. One of the ones that were not so bad, but I took it off because I was like, nah. The fact that you had to say it was not so bad means it was probably just about that bad. It well, it, it's still bad, but it was one of the better ones on the album. Yeah, but come on. Yes. <laughs> this is. L let's put it this way. Every everyone has a, a swing and a miss. Halford yeah. had at least two that I know of. Yeah, it was this and the following album, Made of Metal. Right, right. Which I have yet to put. Oh no, I did put a track on there from. Did I? Which one? No, I didn't. No, because there's a there's a duet track on on that album that I did not include, and instead did the one with Five Finger Death Punch and oh. Halford. Yeah, exactly. God, damn I did you. pick the better song. Which is sad. Okay. Yeah. Five finger death punch. Thank God. No, they're not on this. Good. T Timmy Turner cunt punch. I uh, I don't know. You got it on another. You got it on another list that we're doing, and I was like, oh. I do, God. and I feel no I guilt about get, that. I can't get away from this goddamn band. No, you can't. <laughs> if I have to know it exists, you have to know it exists. <laughs> so we're on to the next one. Yeah. Now, this is All I Want for Christmas is You, originally written by Mariah Carey. This is from Leo Morchioli from Metal Covers Volume 11. Volume 11. I think he's up to yeah. 30. He's awesome. He just keeps making metal covers. He, one a week. As, as far by as himself. I know, he doesn't. Yeah, but with some assistance, but mostly he does all the production by himself and most of the recording right. by himself. But he's fucking amazing. He really yes. is. He's this a is the only way I could listen. I can only listen to this song this way. If somebody makes a cover, I'm sure there's been other covers of it this way. This is the first one I found uh, doing it this way. But I was like, this is the only way I'm listening to this song. 
I am not listening to Mariah Carey do it. Uh, Mar- what was that? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't it's know. Like you were choking back a vomit. Might might have had a stroke just now. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm. I actually like Mariah Carey, not as a person, but as a singer. Really, I can't stand her. It's, it's a it's a thing. Like I I have a thing for very powerful okay. voices, and she has a very powerful voice. Whitney Houston, her they were very powerful. I don't I know if don't she, like them as people. as people. Well, I don't know if I would have liked Whitney Houston as a person, but she had a very troubled personal life. Right, right. So I can't judge based on that. And it's not fair to judge based on that. Well, I don't think I, I, I think I'm just lumping her in with. I would say Whitney Houston also never did Christmas stuff, which is weird. She did. Are you I sure? Not that I can think of. I'm looking it up right now. Let's see if I can beat you. You definitely can. I'm going to have a retard on a, on a man. Thing. You are uh, on it today with that. <laughs> With that uh, hard R. Sorry. I think I stand corrected. Oh, yeah. No, I'm an idiot. (laughs) One, two. Oh, my God. Yeah. Go to the world. I don't know if I. Oh, that's from the soundtrack to The Preacher's Wife. That shouldn't count. (laughs) Oh, there was an album called One Wish. Do you you hear what I hear? Ugh. I hate that song so much. The first Noel. She's, yeah. Little drummer boy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Did Whitney Houston do a Christmas song? Here's a question on on. Oh, I see it. One one wish for Christmas. That's all it says. You know what? I just realized we did also didn't put on this list. What's that? Christmas shoes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that one's a terrible song too. I I, I love how depressing it is. Yeah, because it I, depressing stuff at Christmas only makes me laugh because I'm like. Somebody's specifically trying to ruin somebody else's Christmas by making this. And I'm like, yeah, I, this is the best I'm you not, can do. I'm not dealing with, I'm not dealing with depression on <laughs> Christmas or at least I try not to. Yeah. We try not to. It, I'd like it to be happens. happy. Yeah. There's a, but I don't need to, I don't need to know. I don't need to, <laughs> this is going to sound terrible. Here we go. I don't, I don't need to know this poor people out there on Christmas. Oh, wow. Ooh, take a, take a tough stance there, fucker. <laughs> So do you do any donations for like toys toys for tots or anything? Um no. Only because I'm one of those poor people on Christmas. By the time we buy all the gifts, I have nothing, nothing left. Yet. We Dude, I have specifically set aside every year to donate for toys for tots. Okay. And like we we've been doing it Jenny and I've been doing this together now for almost a decade. Okay, cool. So we do at least two boys and two girls themed toys and however they right. want to distribute them is fine. This year, I think Jenny, Jenny went out and did the, the, the that shopping on her own. And she right. came back with this thing called my pal violet. What is that? It's, it's a doll. It looks like a dog and it's got interactive buttons on the hands and feet. It's a really okay. like a small kid's toy, but you need a computer to program it with the kid's name. Yeah. 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 That's problematic at best. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I guess I'm not using that feature. I haven't said anything to her about it, but it's hilarious that I keep thinking, I'm like, this kid's going to be like, it doesn't even know my name. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> Hello, child. <laughs> Hello, enter child's name now. <laughs> my brain goes to that. I want to see the baby. What is that? I don't remember what it's from. I've seen it in a million memes, but it's literally okay. just an evil voice saying, I'd like to see the baby. Uh, yeah. So Leo, the best. Oh, he's amazing. His covers, back to the previous list, his cover of Toto's Africa is phenomenal. Yeah. Well, you didn't put his version on there. No, but... I didn't. I put the original. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, his, his, I, Con- consistently his his covers are amazing they There's did been a few misses he did a few that i, I listened to and i was just like eh. but y- listen if you have 30 volumes you're gonna have some misses yeah I, now i have to look it up i have to look up how many he has uh here we go oh i'm sorry i i miscounted what 44 oh oh only 40 you're only off by 14 yeah that's <laughs> I I love that some of these are ridiculous. 
Yeah. Well, he doesn't he doesn't discriminate on what songs he covers. Like Sunday Bloody Sunday. Mhm. Skyfall and my favorite uh supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm not sure I've heard his version of that. Yeah, I don't think I want to hear his version of that, but I think I'm going to have to. There's a few there's a few where he did videos and he's like in a rabbit suit chasing people through the mall. I don't remember what song that was. I think it was a corn song. I'd say half of them he's in the rabbit suit. Yeah. Oh, uh, 500 miles that I'm going to be for the uh what are they called? The I wanted to say the pretend is that the rain? Jesus Christ. I I can hear that through your mic. Jesus. So that's I, the wind. That's the say, wind. So that's what I'm expecting in about five minutes. Yeah. It's supposed to get up to 60 to 60 miles an hour later tonight. That should be fun. There's nothing fun about it. Not a good time. What just, happened? It, there's a lot going on outside my window right now. I just, I imagine like a dog flying by. <laughs> I, I don't know. It sounded like a, at first I thought it was a plane, but now I think something might have fallen. <laughs> Not a tree, because I've been in this house when a tree fell down two houses down, and our whole house shook. Yeah, uprooting a tree is It was brutal. nuts. Uprooting we felt the whole house shake. Brutal. We we thought it was a uh, an earthquake, and we ran out, and my neighbor was like, tree just fell in our backyard. I was like, holy crap, that's what it feels like? And that had to be about 50 yards away from my house. How often have you heard that? Oh, that's what that feels like? It's a Christmas episode here. And now my cat, my cat's trying to look out the window. Now she's like, "What the hell is going on?" Oh no! It's supposed to get worse, Lily. Huh? <laughs> nosy cats are the best. Yeah, she's like, "What's going on out there?" But this is the girl. She's not going to come and try to jump on my uh, lap like the she's last like, episode. "I don't give a shit about you." Yeah, she does, but only to eat. And uh, you know, she's Mary Jane's cat. She's just gonna. She's laying on uh, Shane's bed now, just staring at me like, "What are you doing up here?" I want to relax up here. He's like, well, she's like, I'm sitting here trying to relax and you're staring off into space, talking to no one. Right. Exactly. That's what it looks like to her. But if you move your schizophrenic breakdown somewhere else, please. She's definitely giving me the look like she got the big eyes and she's just like, what are you doing? You know, it's pretty funny. All right, let's move on to your next one. Yeah. So this is Gary Hoey with you're a mean one. Mr. Grinch from ho, ho, hoey Two. classic. Who's Gary Hoey? Why do I know that? He's name? a guitarist. He's I, I got to look it up now. So every time, like I didn't look it up. I, I knew the name. I know. Well, the, obviously, I know the song. But. I know you remember from Opie and Anthony. He had gone on and did. Oh, OK. He used to go is what it like, is? to promote the, the to promote this album. He went yeah. to radio stations and actually played it live. OK. Yes, he did. yes. Yes. That's why I remember it. OK. So. Uh, but. American hard rock and blues rock guitarist and songwriter. He's recorded over 20 albums. Wow. Very impressive. At 63 years old. That's fucking impressive. <laughs> wow. But you can't go wrong with a Grinch song. No. It was very cleverly written. The lyrics are funny still to this day. Yes. I wouldn't touch you with a 10 and a half foot pole. I like how it's just like that one little. Why the half? Well, <laughs> not I won't touch you with a 10 foot pole. I would thought you would have Because everyone wants the extra six inches. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Christmas. Maybe you do, Dave. Yeah, everyone likes a candy cane. <laughs> oh, you thought you were going to get me with a simple joke like that? <laughs> Got to be way worse. <laughs> and yes, the answer is I do like them curved. <laughs> That's how you do it. There you go. I'm sorry. I will. I will try to be better. <laughs> be better so um a few years ago no a few years ago logan's 11 now he probably did this well we probably went there when he was like he was in school so he had to be about five or six we went to see um in madison square garden a uh um a play of uh how the grinch stole christmas it was awesome but it was thousands of kids coming out of penn station during Christmas season, and uh, Logan couldn't do it. I remember he was puking in the bathroom. He was sick. He didn't like it. I had Poor a good Logan. time until the 
Yeah, until that happened. I can't believe. Was it nerves? I, I mean, I, or was he sick? No, I think I think it was uh it was all the rushing around. There was so many people. And you know what's funny is like it, it, it's so hard to uh like regulate the temperature, I guess, in these places because it was hot. And you're you know, it's December and we're all in jackets and sweaters and stuff like that. Then you come up into MSG and there's so many people and it's back and forth and people are buying stuff and it's for a little kid, it's gotta be overwhelming. And just you, you know saying that is making my neck hurt. Like I'm tensing. right, 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 exactly, exactly. So I think it was just it just overwhelmed him, and uh, yeah, he spent a lot of the time in the bathroom just puking. He was like six. arena concerts do that, like get me that that tense feeling. Yeah. Arena concerts get me that way. That's why I've never seen Metallica. Well, see, well, like see I, it doesn't it doesn't get me that way. It it the pro I'm fine with it because I know it's me. But if I'm with my kids or my family, I worry about everybody else. Yeah, you're in protective and mode. And that's what, that's what tenses me up. You know, me by myself, I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know, if I get kicked or I fall down or whatever the fuck, you know, I'm fine. But it's, it's yeah, it's me and my family and other, you know, nieces and nephews and. <sighs> Too many people. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Too many people around the people I care about. That's always a problem. Right, right, right. hundred percent, man. I think I'm going to have to take this kid to like the actual Radio City shows. Once. We, um, no, we went. Mary Jane and I went before kids and it was awesome. You ever go to the radio the, the, with the Rockettes and everything? When I was in, I think, elementary school, we did it like a school. Oh, trip. no, we we did it. Uh, we did it probably about um, 20 years ago, me and Mary Jane. And uh, it's awesome. Even as an adult, it is awesome. It's got to be. But it's like so a... expensive. Like, like um, every year, Mary Jane looks it up, and uh, it is so expensive. You know, so we're like, we looked it up this year again, and like, for a family of four, it's nearly like five hundred dollars just for tickets. Yeah, for four that's... people is like five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Some extraordinary amount. You know. And we're like, all right, maybe we'll save for next year. And we say that every year. And, we, you know, I, I, if I'm, I'm lucky I have a 401k to save anything because, holy crap, living yeah. in New York is uh, getting almost impossible. It is painful. Yeah. How did we drag this down so hard? I don't know. We went from you're know. a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's expensive to live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> and it, the rockets. Yeah. Santa Claus in 3D. You put glasses on, Santa flies above you. It's it's awesome. The kids would love it if they only made it, you know, affordable to bring your kids. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they ever do that? Same thing with Disney. We went to Disney last year and it was like we could afford one day. You know? I mean I, the kid don't get me wrong, my kids are great. They were they were happy enough with one day. You know, it's painful because that because that even that is. Um, I mean, my kids are older now, so it's much easier. But uh, even that's overwhelming. That's you got to be a lot. Yeah. But it was fun as shit. I, uh, you know, I, I, I never went to Disney. That was my first time. I was 46 years old or whatever it was when I went 45 or 46 when I first went to Disney. Mike's so, going to uh, be mad at you. Why? Mike's a Disney guy. Is he? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. You I didn't know like that. Friend. I am. I, so, maybe he, yeah, but he might be keeping that. So. <laughs> no, it's not a <laughs> secret. So I had told him I was thinking about doing a Disney trip with the family. And he started right. throwing out like, oh, you can stay at this hotel and do the all-inclusive. And it's cheaper this way. And I'm like, where is this coming from? He goes, I love Disney. All right. Recently, we went you know, to too expensive. So they... Uh, him and I have been, you know, traveling when, when they do travel, they travel other places. But yeah. uh, their, Disney was that like their yearly thing for a long time. Huh. I That's probably I do like, that. I might, I might have repressed that. <laughs> Why? You know, I don't know. It's not the think. weirdest as thing. I speak, as I speak, and, and Buzz Lightyear's right there. Yeah. You know, we were, uh, we're not a Disney family, but I enjoy a Disney movie here and there. And I got to say, we went to Magic Kingdom and it was awesome. 
I was like, and then my kids was the kingdom magical. It, it was. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I was there um, when I was. You know the parades. Yeah, you, you have to run off the the, the road because the parade comes right down the middle. All the characters are dancing. It's fun. The last and time then, I was uh, there, I was ten. Huh? I was ten. The last time I was at Disney. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I went. I went when I was forty-five. I think for the first time. Brought my kids, and uh, my kids are are are. Uh, we see so many fireworks that they do. You know, every night they do a big fireworks show over the castle. And we told the kids, we we're like, "You want to go see the fireworks?" And they were like, "Nope." Everybody runs to see the fireworks. My kid went. My kids went on like every ride they wanted to go on. Then you can run. There were no lines. You know, they, they were like, we were wait-. "Right, we were waiting." Like maybe you had like five people in front of you. My kids would look up and go, "Oh, look, that's cool." You know, like a like a, uh, a firework. And they were like, "All right, let's get on the cars." They got them the race cars and stuff like that. That's smart. Yeah, smart thinking. Fireworks then, uh, you can see in the in the distance. The rides, yeah, empty yeah. lines on the rides is a rare occasion. Oh, it's, it was awesome. And the last ride we went on was uh, Space Mountain. I've heard and, of it. Uh, I've never I, been on it. I thought my kids were going to. Well, Logan loves roller coasters. Shane, one of the first roller coasters he went on was um, the. Oh, what's it called? It was with the uh, the seven dwarves. It's the it's the train. You go through the mine. Uh, whatever it is, it's fast. It, he. First time we got on the line, he got off. He didn't want to do it. He made it like halfway through the line and then got off. He was like, nope, I don't want to do it. Uh, second time we got him on and he was like, I was like, you ready, buddy? I, I think he sat next to Mary Jane. And it was the craziest emotions I've ever seen. He went from laughing to crying to laughing. And then when the, when the, when the roller coaster came in, he was both laughing and crying at the same time. So I was like, dude, it was like both emotions at once, and he loved it. Yeah, I bet so he did. Later at the that, same time, it's pretty. So pretty later scary. that day, we we go on Space Mountain, and Space Mountain is completely dark. Completely, you're you're on a roller coaster in the dark. So we get on this, and he has to. You sit in a line. You don't sit two at a time. You sit in a line. So he had to. The way it was, there's uh, three cars, uh, three in a car in the front, three in a car in the back. Mary Jane, me, and Logan got in the back, and he had to go by himself with two different people in a different car. And I was like, the whole ride, I'm going, what am I going to deal with when, when this ends? He was ecstatic. He loved it. Can I tell you something? Space Mountain terrified the shit out of me. Holy crap. Okay. Not being able to see what's coming up scared the crap out of me. So I don't know if you remember the list of my fears. There aren't many. Is the dark one of them? No, heights. You can't even tell how high you are on that thing. And that's that's worse to me. Right. Yeah, it's, it's all in your head. 10 inches, 30 feet. Don't know. Now my brain goes, <laughs> we're six miles from the ground. <laughs> and you come out of your seat. When, when, it, when it goes down. Yeah, I definitely would the... come out of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh. Terrible. I don't know. How did we get to, uh. Disney? No, I. Oh, uh, no, I got nothing. Yeah, oh, I got nothing. Mr. Grinch, uh, Madison Square Garden, um, Christmas right. play, right? Radio City Music right, right. Hall, Disney. Hot, yeah. All right, cool. I did good on that one. That was actually retraced my steps. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. Yes. All right. So this is Kidnap the Sandy Claws by Corn. Yes, I was. I, you know what? I, I after I put this on here, I thought maybe I should have put the original on there. No, which is uh, why you don't like Nightmare Before Christmas? Are, are you ready for for my heresy? Oh no! For the amount of goth chicks I'm into, I do not enjoy that movie. How do you not enjoy that movie? It does nothing for me. It is the perfect mix of my two. Well. The two best holidays, Christmas and Halloween. They are they are clearly the two best holidays. But you don't it like the do Nightmare it. Before Christmas? It doesn't do it. What happened? Anyway, I don't know. I got like a hair. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. You real curly one? <laughs> no, I've been growing my beard, so it's all... It catches everything now. You know? Nope, it's I'm not ridiculous. doing it. Nope. <laughs> I know what it's been Christmas. catching. It's Christmas, Dave. It's Christmas. 
Um, what was I going to say? So the original is uh, the original is uh, Catherine O'Hara. Oh, oh, yeah, Catherine O'Hara, um, Paul Rubens, and Danny Elfman. Yes. Did you not know that? Yes, I did know that. They're, and my brain they're went... lock, lock, stock, and barrel. Those are the three little kids that sing that song. Now I picked this one, and I because I love Nightmare Before Christmas, and I figured it would be interesting to do um, Corn doing the song. Uh, it works for about a minute and a half, and then the song goes way too long because he does. Apart. They do the whole song, huh? It falls apart. Yeah, they don't know where to go with it. Absolutely. You know? And the problem is there's not many, like, Danny Elfman is a genius. Yeah. So, it's nothing with him. Like I said, the music no, it is... Has, it has nothing, it the has music nothing to do with is the great. song. They, Korn did not know where to go with this. They should have done just right. like, like a snippet of it. Correct. And Correct. Uh, that didn't because, happen. Because that's the whole thing is, um, if it's a set song and you can cover it, Sure, but this is a part of the movie where they do that whole part of the movie in the song, but the end of that song doesn't have like a um, clear ending. A ri- uh, right, it's it it like ends because it's part of the movie. Yeah, so Corn didn't know how to kind of end it, you know how to how to make the mu- the the song continue. Same thing can and, be said uh, about their career. Well, now I liked yeah I like that that can, can I tell you something about Corn? That first album was amazing. Absolutely. First two. That first album. Okay, I'll give you the first two. But that first album, I remember hearing that for the first time and going, I have never heard anything like this. No, there was it was you completely know? unique for its time. Right. The only thing close to it was Faith No More and not nearly close enough. No, no. Is it was it was definitely unique. Well, because they did that, they did the, the drop tuning and everything like that. I mean it was that bass sound was gross. Now, in a good I'm, way. Maybe. I'm glad you brought up the bass sound because I, I this is a, a constant thing for me. Uh, Fieldy has his own like signature uh, Ibanez bass and mm-hmm. strings. He's not a good bassist. Really? Okay. He's he's not a good bassist, and on his own, he sounds like trash. It's within mm. the confines of their songs that his right. bass playing works. Only because he's playing more percussively than he is playing bass. Uh uh-huh. it's not good. What do you mean by percussively? What is like what he's you, hitting like the he strings just... more than he's playing notes. Like it's more slapping, okay. but not right. like you know, there guys like Marcus Miller and you know, guys like that play slap and there's both rhythm and melody to it. Right. He's just rhythm. Okay. There's All not right. a lot of music going on with what he's playing. He's really just hitting the bass. Uh huh. And it's okay. never been appealing to me. I've never thought he was a good bassist. He's been right. replaced uh, temporarily when he's not been able to tour. He's been replaced by two very good bassists. Uh-huh. Uh, Ryan Martini from Mudvayne and um, Ty Trujillo, Robert Trujillo's son, uh, replaced okay. him on, the, right. on one of the last tours. Right. So, and they were, they were bored. They were just straight up bored. Really? Yeah. Of playing there's, corn songs or just well, there's nothing that he does that's complicated. You could probably do that in a coma. Gotcha. All right. If you can tap no out, if you can tap out SOS with your head, you could probably play this. Right. All right. <laughs> is that a is that a uh, is, is that a callback? Didn't that's, we do that last? The Metallica last? reference, right? We talk about yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <Get away. laughs> Yikes! And yeah, it's Christmas, buddy. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, so corn, uh, negative <clears throat> negative five points just for corn. All right, well, I picked a Christmas song. Can't can't win them all. Listen, you put a Halford terrible Halford song on here. I did on purpose. All right, I put a terrible corn song on here, and then I and then I did it. I I had and then to you did, you did it you did it and I I never heard this version of we're not going to take it. <laughs> The fact that they they admitted it years ago that it, that we're not going to take it is oh come all ye faithful ripped off. It is it fits perfect ninety nine percent. I mean it was well yeah but I mean the way they sang it it was um, interesting yeah interesting to listen to because I kept singing we're not going to take it 
and, and uh, it fits over perfectly. Yes. It's they had, uh, they had admitted, I think it was JJ French had said it. Yeah, we just took we took the melody from Okomi Faithful and just turned it into metal. But how does that happen? Uh, wait, like the logic behind it? Yeah, like did they, did, um, did it happen accidentally? They or... never said, they never said it was an accident or on purpose. They never said how they, it was like, yeah, we, we took Okomi Faithful and made it metal. Yeah. And then we put some, so this, put some, put some lyrics on it. This was absolutely uncomfortable to listen to. Really? Did you happen yeah. to look at the album it's from? No. Because that uh, album starts with Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. A twisted Christmas. White Christmas, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Silver Bells, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. All, all in Twisted Sister fashion. Oh, apparently. absolutely. Let It Snow, uh, Deck the Halls, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Uh-huh. And then there's a that song called Heavy Metal Christmas, which is there 12 Days of Christmas. You want to talk about a bad song. That makes yes. Halford look like fucking... It, look, it makes it look like a masterpiece. A masterpiece? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But yeah, I figured I had to throw it on there. That... The first time I heard this album was right after... Like, D. Snyder had just like popped back into like the public again. Pop culture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, be, he was on VH1 every other day and... Right, right. He's doing he was doing stuff left and right and the one of the guitarists Eddie Ojeda had put out a solo album that mm-hmm. he had done some stuff on and I'm like, "Oh, this is good." And then I saw with that the announcement that there was going to be a Christmas album. I was like, "I wonder." And then yeah. I got it and I didn't wonder anymore. <laughs> yeah. Was it but terrible? I was like, "This is cool. It's not it's not bad, but it's it's right. it's a novelty. It's a tw- it's a twisted sister Christmas album that is very twisted sister." Yeah. It's, there's no other way to describe it. The cat, the cat has stopped staring at me. She's now sleeping. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. She's gotten used to me talking into the air. I had nothing, apparently, to her. Cat's like, this delusional fucks off on his own. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I feel safe now. Yeah. So let's talk uh, about the next one. Go ahead, man. This is Santa Baby by Me First in the Gimme Gimmies. Who are awesome. They are. This actually was a delightful surprise. You liked it? Yes. Because I saw Gimme Gimme's. I saw uh, the other bands that were on here. I'm like, before I listened, I'm like, August Burns Red. Okay, that's heavy. And then Leo, I know Leo and Corn. I'm like, me first in the Gimme Gimme's. I've never heard before. Never ever? Never ever. They are a. Let me see if I can remember who's in the band. It is a cover band. It is guys from No Effects. It is guys from the Vandals. Why can't I remember any of the other bands? You could be making it's, this up. I wouldn't know. No, it's it's. You know what? Give me a second. It's other. It's it's a super group of punk bands that uh that do cover songs. They don't do original songs. Super group. Here we go. It is. Oh, this is Fat Mike Band. Yeah, I did not. But know he that. doesn't sing, obviously. Uh, if you've heard it, you'll realize it's not Fat Mike singing very quickly. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, it's got guys from Lagwagon, Foo Fighters. It's it, it and it, it changes. It's not just the same guys all the time. You know, I guess it's like when they want to make an album, they. Uh, they just pick as many, you know, who, whoever can can do it. Whoever can do it. Yeah. But cool. uh, it's it's a fun band. And they do songs like, you you know, they, they do they do pop songs. A lot of them are pop songs. Uh, and it's cool. I like I, I've never heard of me first in the Gimme Gimme songs that I that I didn't like. So you brought up pop yeah. songs and that makes me think of those. Remember those compilations like Pop Goes Punk? Yeah, they still did those. Yeah. Yeah. So the other day I was perusing the internet. Yeah. And I came across a band that I've seen a dozen times, Electric Cowboy. Okay. They're a German band. They're very much like electronic and heavy metal. Electric, electric Cowboy. Wow, that's bright. Yeah, I was going to say your screen could not get any brighter. It highlighted your <laughs> second gin. <laughs> You're a dick. I am. 
<laughs> I have mine covered with the mic. You're not alone, uh, fucker. <laughs> there we go. That's so I'm growing the beard, though. It works. Trust me. I got two, ch- at yeah. least two chins under here. Mm-hmm. I got two chins and an extra neck. So <laughs> I came across Electric Cowboy, and they had a cover of um, Every Time We Touch, which is a dance song. Yes, I know that song. And it's heavy as fuck. And somebody in the comments went, this should be on something like Pop Goes Punk. But they're the only ones doing stuff like this, where they're taking dance songs. What's and the name of the song? Because I'm going to, what's the? What? They're the band's Electric Cowboy. I'm putting this right in my uh, uh, thing so I can listen to it after we're done. And they are, they are dancey, funky, weird German men. Electric Cowboy? Yeah. It's not even coming up. <laughs> Where are you looking? Oh, there it is. Nope, I found it. I have it up. That way, when we're done, I'm listening to it. They they have two songs that I've been like. They keep showing up in my YouTube suggestions, and I'm like, yes, I'll listen Oof. to this again. They are interesting looking men. <laughs> Every video, they dress the part for what they're doing. Right, right, right. They have a song called I think it's Pump It. And they're dressed okay. like they're in workout gear. Uh-huh. I mean, it's ridiculous, but so good. Nice. Miss, they're dressed like Euro trash. I don't know. One one guy's got the twirly mustache thingy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's an interesting look. They're very strange. Very good though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so me first in the gimme gimme's gives me that that pop goes punk kind of yes. vibe. Yes. Yeah. And they didn't stray from the song no not not i not think they changed all. a couple of the lyrics to make it a little funny but, but they uh, didn't mess with it no no not at all not at all they didn't go they didn't go ruining it no no and i'll tell you what they never ruin any of the songs they do even the pop songs they do they don't go overboard on it yeah they just make it more pop punky you know instead of you know, if they did a dance song, it's not a dance song anymore. It'd be with yeah, uh, instruments. Yeah, but they don't overdo it. Oh, we'll to, get to um, that motherfucker. Oh, uh, what? We'll get to it. Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let's move to your next one. And you went traditional. Traditional, yeah. So this is actually for my dad. This is Jose Feliciano with Feliz Navidad. Right. I so couldn't I, stop I, it. I love this song. I love it. Yeah. I've heard Felice, uh, Felice Navidad, uh, I'm 42, so 8 million times in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we all have. Well, we live in New York, so it's uh, it's in the mix. <laughs> it's, you it's, know? it's the New York and <laughs> yeah, the yeah. New York and Christmas jam. Right. So um, I had this song on here at one point as well. Yay. Not Jose Feliciano. I had it with um, the Voodoo Glow Skulls. I would have stabbed is, you. I would have stabbed why? you. Just on principle. Do you know that song? No. Do you know the? I don't need to hear it. It's not Jose Feliciano. Why? So what? It's still they don't they, they do it. Uh, they are, um, I believe they are Mexican. Racist. Uh, they're uh huh. What? I didn't hear what you said. I said racist. Why? Because I can. <laughs> okay. <I'm> not... <laughs> uh, why? No, but I believe they're. They're 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 uh, like a ska punk band, and uh, wait, what was their name again? The Voodoo Glow Skulls. I don't even want to look this up. Why? I don't know why. I just I you ever just have the feeling that you need to be like no, like, I don't want to know this. They're 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 not Mexican. Oh no! What are they? What are you they? You don't know because you didn't fucking bother to look it up. They're from California. No. Oh, They're an American okay, but band. They, no, but I think they're guys of okay, so Mexican descent. I don't know. It doesn't say. Well, they're from. They're probably from Southern California. I'm going to say they're probably Mexican. Wow. Why? Why is that so wrong? I'm from Brooklyn. Does that make me Puerto Rican? I am, but it doesn't make me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Society has made it so that we can't even talk about things. You can't even bring it up without people going, well, how do you not know? I just don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm making an, ex- an assumption. You're, you're a sports guy. Yes. 
How many people are on a baseball team? Like how many positions are there on the field? My brain isn't working. Nine. Nine. Okay. So there are more former members of this band than there are baseball players. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen former members, and there are currently okay. six current members. Okay. A lot of those might be like uh they, they have a lot of um um horns and stuff like that. Well, there are so four five six trumpet players previously right. uh right. right now they only have a singer trombone sax drums bass and guitar and they're a brother band look at that you know where those brothers are, you are, sure? are from are you are Mexico. you sure what? it actually yeah. says they're brothers <laughs> Smart oh, okay. ass. i thought i thought you were gonna do a, a race day they're both rodriguez's <laughs> really bro really do you know anytime I'm at work and somebody sees the name Sanchez come in the ER, they're like, hey, do you know this person? I'm like, yeah, it's my cousin. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> you, you're calling me racist for saying I think they're from Mexico. And you're going, oh, they're a brother band. No, they There's are. Brother Rodriguez band. is in there. <laughs> I know. No, they yeah, actually, sure. they are listed as such. I, I do my research for that. <laughs> it's not like the misfits where they, you can yeah. all, you tell they're related because they're all stupid. Wow. Yeah. Fucking hate the misfits. Lodi, New Jersey. Lodi pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking receding uh, hairline swooping it down. Oh, yeah, terrible. Anyway, back to Jose Feliciano. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, very uh, traditional. I uh, my to son came into on it. My, my son came into the, uh, uh, the kitchen one morning and I was playing and he's like, Oh, police now be done. Very nice. Yeah. I don't know why I heard that in a Chinese accent in my head. Why? <laughs> my brain does stupid shit. Okay. <laughs> and I heard, I heard it and I'm not going to do it because it's obviously not something I want to repeat out loud, but I heard it <laughs> <laughs> that way in my head <laughs> and immediately started laughing to myself. Oh, you tell I'm a goddamn mess. Yeah. <laughs> so second to last one sure so i went um i bookended it with uh uh with instrumentals mm -hmm. so i did real big fish where they're not singing no. but they did little drummer boy mm -hmm. and uh they scotted up a little bit but not terrible they didn't overdo it they sucked a bag of cocks this i hated 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 really why? It's just a song. I, and I, that, be, that allows me to hate it with everything I have. I would never go after a person that way. No, I would. <laughs> Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> William Shatner, Gwen Stefani. It's terrible. So what didn't you like about this? The sound. <laughs> like The sound. So I'm not a huge Little Drummer Boy fan to begin with. Okay. And then this on top of it made me like it even less. Feel lucky this is a Christmas episode. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was no. going to say, yeah. maybe not a little drummer boy, but still little boys. <laughs> I like how you didn't want to say that uh, yet. You had no problem no. eventually just saying it. Well, because you pushed it out of me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the plug. You twisted, you twisted my arm. Yeah. You never want to say you pushed it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you didn't like it all right i did not enjoy it at all it's all right. it's i think this is like when you think of like pop music with punk this is what i'm like nope no thank you i even did it because i figured you know you wouldn't like it if the guy sang oh i probably would have liked the it band less. yeah i think it's just the band doing the music you wouldn't mind wrong. But i guess i was wrong wrong it's all right i'm still gonna blame you for putting halford on here yeah no i definitely deserve the hate for that <laughs> i really thought you're me when mr grinch would have gotten some shit too why i don't know i just thought i always thought it was a little noodly a little heavy yeah, on the wop right. pedal and noodly <laughs> it's okay it's a christmas song you know unless you totally screw it up which apparently i guess real big fish did i, I don't mind they didn't screw it up. I just don't like it. It's not like I, yeah. I wouldn't like if I saw it in a, in a, in a store, like if I saw the CD 
I wouldn't like hide it or drop it and break it. Okay. I'd be like, oh, this is not for me and leave it alone. Right. But if I like, you know, okay. if I see like a Garth Brooks CD, I'm like, oh, look at this. This goes in the rap section. That's a wow. Well, that's, you know, it's a good thing we're listening to this on, you know, YouTube music or Spotify or whatever. And uh, no, I can't destroy things. You know, in real big fish is only getting like, uh, you know, one, one millionth of a penny for it. You know? I, I don't want them to lose money. I don't remember. Did you did you read the article this week about uh, with Snoop Dogg? He got a billion downloads on Spotify, and I forget how much money he made. Eight dollars. It's is that what it was? It no, was I have no idea. It's it's it was, it, literally it was something crazy. It was not oh, worth the. It was not the the equivalent of eight billion. No. Hang on, let me see if I could find it real quick. Nice. Spotify. Type gingerly, please. I can hear you he, pounding that keyboard like it fucking owes you money. He made forty five thousand dollars for a billion downloads. That is not even. I that is That's like not right. The average salary of a year of 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 somebody working. Hang on. That's the average salary of uh of somebody working in Hang America. Nobody can look up the average salary. I just want to see because I'm pretty sure that number sounds that is less than what a New York City Police Department first year yeah officer would make and that's a billion downloads of a song and that's of music 10 how much was it that he made 45 45,000 yeah so 13,000 a, a, a new a starting police officer makes 13,000 more than that that's nuts that's nuts that's insane. Yeah. I, I, the, the second I heard 40 something, I'm like, I know, I know something in that range. I'm like, it's yeah. gotta be copper firemen. Right. Right. Cause they treat those guys pretty rough. We're going to start, start paying you real shitty to start and we're not going to make it right. that much better. <laughs> you have to run into burning buildings and have people shoot at you. Terrible. And then there's the cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, I don't know. No, I can't. That's why I never tried. No. I did. I, 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 I made it, I made it halfway through the, uh, the police department test and I went, I don't want to be a cop. Who am I kidding? Wait, you, f you met the height requirement. You're a dick. Yes. I know so many people who don't hit the, hit the height requirement. You are not that much taller than me, but I know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still funny. <laughs> But yeah, I was about halfway through and I was like, I don't want to do this. Like Even people. if I do pass. I don't huh? like people, but I also yeah. don't like them enough that I want to hurt them. <laughs> oh, you froze. Perfect time to have a freeze. Now I'm stuck talking to myself. Awesome. I think we completely lost him. No, he's still connected technically, but he's not talking or moving. So uh, yeah, that's great. I think your kids are watching pornography, buddy. Check your connection. Exactly. You there? We were so close. Yeah, I'm here now. Okay. You're, you gonna, gone. you're in for a real treat when you hear what I was saying while you were gone. Ah, boo. What happened? What happened? I was making fun of you. Oh, but what uh, is it my side or your side? I don't even know. That's got to be your side because my, my side's what? still clear. All right. I'm going to keep blaming your side because I'm, I'm the one host, hosting this shit, so. All right, whatever. I don't see you, so we're just gonna. Uh, oh I'm no, we lost. Voice you. So, no, oh, they are. They still go. lost me. Okay, we're back. I see you. All that jazz. Video is a little out of sync, but it's gonna catch up. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's so, uh let's move on. Well, last, last one. Yeah, and you went. Uh, and this is another I, one. I guess you could say traditional again. I don't consider this traditional Christmas. This is 80s Christmas. Yeah, but it's become traditional now. Yeah. That's 40 years ago. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This That's is a 40 year old song. Last Christmas by Wham. From the yes. album Last Christmas. That's what it says. That's what it claims. No, it's just yeah. that it's just 
it's a single. A single. Yeah, it yeah. was last Christmas. Last Christmas pudding mix. That's what it says. I don't want to know. What does that mean, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> if, if if you know something about a, never mind. Never mind. You know what? Never mind. I don't know. It's not in a public bathroom in a park. Pudding mix. And then there was a the song "Everything She Wants." Was on the on, on the, the B on side. Single. What was it? Three song? Christmas song as well. I don't. I don't know. I've never heard. Yeah. But yeah, but, uh, um, yeah. You, you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong. I'm actually going to look up Wham because I can't remember the other guy's name. Andrew Not George Rig- Michael. Andrew Wrigley. Yeah. The guy who took the same route as the guy who did uh, uh, American Idol and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even know who from American Idol said they didn't want to do it anymore. You know, in the first season of American Idol, there were two hosts. It was Ryan Seacrest. And I forget this. Everybody forgets the second guy's name. I don't even know. the. I don't even know the first guy. Really? I've never watched American Idol. You don't know Ryan Seacrest. No, I know who he is because he's everywhere. But I'm not. Yeah. I've never watched American Idol. Really? We watched probably the first 10 seasons. It was fun. It was fun to watch. And the people who we wanted to win almost never won. You know, because they always had the rock guy and the rock guy always made it. But then he either came in second like Chris Daughtry or Bo Bice came in like fourth. The guy you wanted to win never won. So it was like being an Islanders fan. Ooh, you're terrible, dude. The Islanders were very good in the 80s. And they're not doing bad. They, they started off slow this season, but they're not doing that bad anymore. I, I, I think haven't like, watched hockey since 1997. Why? Just you don't fell, like out, hockey? fell out of it. I. All right. I stopped playing sports. I stopped watching sports. I stopped getting involved. Yeah, I hear you. On the other side of that, though, um, this is going to sound so fucking stupid. I started watching sumo. What the fuck is that? Wrestling. Oh, sumo wrestling. The actual sumo wrestling? I thought it was like a show or something. No. No, I I started watching sumo tournaments from Japan, and they're fascinating. By the way, I want to see when did last Christmas come out? I want to see if it's actually 40 years old. I'm going to say before I look it up, 1984. I'm going to say it's 39 years old. Mm. No, you're under by two years. It was 86. Really? Album music from the edge of heaven. All right. Ironically, music from the edge of heaven sounds like the The sound that the sound that you hear when you come. (laughs) Edging. Yeah. (laughs) Why does that make me laugh? Because <laughs> I've been doing it this whole time. You haven't noticed? I don't know. Ah, now I'm wearing shorts. It's fine. We came so close without a... <laughs> That's what edging is. <laughs> <laughs> Coming so close without finishing. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I talk about how great George Michael's voice was. Yes. And how he should have been the replacement once once they started doing writing again as Queen. Yeah. They were going to use him and then that whole incident happened and they distanced themselves from it. Really? Him. I did I had no idea about that. At the And tri- now they have now they have another American Isle guy, Adam Lambert. Adam Lambert. He's they had Adam, done he's a- they had Paul Rogers for a while. Okay. And then they got adam lambert i really wish it would have been george michael because he had a beautiful singing voice okay could he have hit the notes like freddie mercury though Uh uh-huh you never saw the tribute to freddie mercury i don't know he did somebody to love and it was fucking amazing tribute what nothing nothing here we go (laughs) no nothing i gotta fix that thing why does it keep keep moving yeah it's adjusting to where i'm sitting Oh, it moves? Well, the camera doesn't physically move. It just frames. That's not a bad thing. It, it, can, it can be pretty unsettling when you see yourself moving without moving. <laughs> it's like, here we go. My, my doppel. My doppel. Uh, oh, man. Is it doppelganger? Doppelganger. Yeah, my doppelganger. <laughs> yes, my double dicker is coming to kill me. <laughs> my doppelganger is coming to kill me. <laughs> 
Well, it doesn't make a double. It just follows you. Yeah, no, but it looks like something's going to come through the screen and come at me. <laughs> it's moving. I'm not. It's creepy. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Terrible. So we did Christmas. This is Christmas. We, I really love Christmas and I, I cannot wait to see this kid freak out on Christmas day. Yeah. Cause I'm going to hide all the presents and say, Santa never came. Oh boy. I would never You're do that. Terrible. I would never do that. <laughs> no, I'm leaving you fucking an elf? fake foot. No. Oh. Leave fake footprints and fucking eating it's cookies so and shit. It's so lucky. I don't know where my kids are. So I got to whisper, but don't, don't <sighs> give it away. There's still, uh, he's not here. So oh. I don't have to worry about ruining yeah, it for uh, that. For him. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do that to the kids. Yeah, no, they're fine. I just can't wait till it's over. I, maybe next year. I say it every year. Maybe next lie. year. Yeah, both of them. There's two of them now. Santa and an elf. Fuck. Got to do like. Got to do Krampus instead. Yeah. A little, little evil Krampus hanging out, waiting. Uh, 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 but anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a few weeks off and start new uh, next year. Uh huh. Brand um, new year, with, brand new us. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> um. We'll still, you know, we're a year into it, and uh, we're still trying to figure out all this uh, technology. <laughs> right. We what do finally you mean, figured me? it out. Well, I try, and then you, thank God you're here, because if I didn't have a partner like you, I don't know what I'd be doing. We're doing it together. Yeah. But you feel, like you said, it it honestly is you figuring out all the stuff, like, oh, let's do this. I'm like, oh, I never would have thought of that. I would have just been recording myself and, like, uploading it to, like, whatever. You know? Oh, like, rants? I don't know. Just, like, a rant to, like, you know what? I can't stand. (laughs) Yeah. I thought about doing that for a while. And it wouldn't have been as much fun as this. <laughs> it would look like you know, Bobby Fisher a... just going off on a rant. Yeah, I have a you know, I want I have an idea of doing something else, but you know, I'll probably have to have you behind the scenes on that one anyway. <laughs> you know, so it'll just be me and you doing another podcast, probably. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> you know. Oh, imagine but, uh... you have to. You just have to involve me in all these things because I know how to I do this. Yeah, I'd be like, I do the first one. I'd be like, fuck, I gotta call Dave. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. In theory, we'll talk about it later. But we we could technically do this with another person, and we drop me out of mic and and video. I can just be there recording in the background. Right, right, right. I could do that. I'm not gonna, but I, I could. Per- I know no, another I person. What the hell? What, what would I do? How would I not talk to you? I'd be like, right, Dave. You wouldn't even be on the thing. I'd be like, Dave. What do you think? <laughs> Here we go. I can't- be, you can't Stop be there it. and not be on camera. Sure, I can. <laughs> yeah. All this weird. fucking eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> this is how people uh, right. get diabetes. All this eye candy. Uh, speaking of diabetes, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not the only one. All right. <laughs> I didn't get a chance. So let's talk Do about what? our friends. Let's yes. Eat. I didn't get a chance to eat yet. Oh. Uh, you know, sun came up. Yeah, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's talk- the wind died down outside Go for ahead. now. Yeah. So let's talk about our friends. Uh, let's start with John from Unworked Apparel. Mm-hmm. It's the holiday season. It's a little close to the holiday to get something made, but think about it for the new year. You know, he's got great stuff. Unworked Apparel on Instagram and Facebook. You can get him. Pretty much, I don't know, like anytime I message him, he messaged me, messaged me back within like five minutes. So, Mm. and that's, I know he knows me, but he, business responses are different. (laughs) Right, right. You know, there's no expectation of a response with him, but he does. He always does. And he, he always has great ideas. Um, check his stuff out, check out his, his, uh, his Instagram, especially has a lot of his newest uploads. Mm-hmm. The Facebook has stuff, but not it's not nearly as uploaded, uh, as updated as often as the Instagram is. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about uh, the Weege, Luigi Gennaro voiceover, and Radio Free Tibet. 
Uh, check out uh, the Weege's album Searchlights on Bandcamp. You can check them out. They eight tracks of covers of pop and rock and progressive and hip hop all in jazz, jazz uh, format. Beautiful stuff. Totally worth it. That would be an interesting gift, uh, gift for somebody who really is into everything. Throw, throw it at them. See, see what sticks. Give them, that, give them the mm-hmm. album and say, oh, you like everything? How about this? If they don't like uh, it, they're an asshole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't like this? You're a dick. <laughs> New standpoint. So then the, the, final, uh, the final one for today, Acist, Roxy Joe's uh, project. New material just came out, and he's got more stuff coming. H- have you been talking this whole time? I no. And he bought it out again. All right. So Roxy Joe's been doing it for a couple of years now. He's got stuff coming out now. No, it's I, really good. I, I, yeah, I, he's got no fucking clue what's going on. He's all dizzy. <laughs> yeah. So I just I was going over Roxy Joe's stuff. You can find him on YouTube. A E C Y S T. And we are on basher.exe on Instagram. He is. I'm a uh, nugs two nine on Instagram. I really wasn't sure that was going to work. I can hear you. <laughs> I really wasn't sure he was going to come through. Um, we have hit the stage podcast.com hit the stage podcast at Gmail. Um, Mike and Dave hit the stage on YouTube. And we have hit the stage podcast uh, on Instagram. You can find us, bug us, check out what we got. Uh, we're going to start adding other stuff other than just the promos. Maybe see if we can uh, clip some stuff together. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. For now, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Yeah. Did you say yeah? Hail Halford. Merry Christmas. There it is. <laughs> Hail, Hail Halford, Halford and Merry Christmas. I don't know. It's, it's all screwed up. Oh God, it's been know. so good. <laughs> this is gonna be. So, this is the best ending ever. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. I'm talking into the into the void. <laughs> take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Hail Halford. I get one Goodbye. from you, motherfucker. There you go. Later. Hail Halford. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs>